Hey, good morning, YouTubers, friends, family. Deb's here. And um, it is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had my Bulletproof coffee once, or about 9 a.m. Hungry now. Um, I don't have any avocados. i got to go shopping. So I thought I'd try something, um, and I don't have cottage cheese like I normally use. So I'm going to try something new. This is two hard-boiled eggs that I mashed with a fork. And... I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, well, right since back. I bought for $2 at Walmart chopped up green onions and for $2 chopped up tri-colored bell peppers. That's going to go in today. And I'm going to put a little cheddar in. And I'm going to start with two just little pieces of butter. And I'm going to put salt and pepper in it and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so I put the butter, salt, and pepper, and I'm going to try and put it in my microwave with one hand. And yes, my arm still hurts. As a matter of fact, I can change hands. Yes, I'm just trying not to complain about my shoulder and my neck and my arm because it doesn't work anyway. Okay. So I'm going to melt the butter and see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm sort of reconstituting a hard-boiled egg into something warm and yummy. And yeah, I use these. Um, I could, I've gotten green onions before and cut them up. Normally I don't buy the tri-colored, but I had something to, to bring to um, family night that I wanted to share. Anyway, it's getting used. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it even melted. Not really. Okay. It got soft, so that's fine. I'm going to put a load of green onions in there and I love them again you know something like this you don't have to have that if you don't like it and I'm going to use some of these not too many there and Back into the microwave, so I'll be right back with the finished These are pepperoni product. chips. You can get turkey pepperoni too. I'm going to make some pepperoni chips with my lunch. So I'm going to put those uh, in the microwave carefully and put it on one minute. This is how the eggs turned out. Yep, we taste it. Mmm. Really good. Mm-hmm. You could put up an avocado in that. You could do sausage or, or bacon. This is just vegetarian style. But with the pepperoni chips, it's going to be delicious. That's them out of the microwave. And all the fat kind of drains. And you can just leave them alone for a minute. Actually. And they just kind of, I'll just put them over here. You can cook them even longer, maybe another 20 seconds, and they even get crispier. If 
you leave them alone, they get crispy. There you have it. Pepperoni chips in a kind of a I don't know what you'd call it, egg concoction. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. And they get really crunchy. Mmm. That's my meal for the day so far. Talk to you later. Keto friendly, keto approved right there. Okay, Very well, likely. I ate my wonderful eggs. They were different, and I would do it again. Uh, just hard-boiled eggs, put in the microwave with a little bit of butter. Softens them up, and then I just, whatever you want to put on them. Cheese, an onion, or uh, mushroom, whatever you want to put on them. So that was good. And uh, these little chips. They're really good. I don't make them very often, but when I do, I enjoy them. Well, last night was quite a scene. I mean, unbelievable. We were, we all, it, what happened, the way it went is, um, we'd heard on the news, of course, that they were coming this way, the storm. So our plan was to pull the trucks, his, uh, cat's truck and my truck into the breezeway, get a bag and just, for emergency stuff and then take the dogs and Kat and me and Mark would walk to Mary's house which is like two blocks away maybe and we did and the sky wasn't raining yet but it was clouding and it was you know gray looking we didn't know what was going to happen so we're all at Nana's Mary's house and Stephanie and Lee came over and actually uh, Lee's son Joey and the baby, the little cute girl, and his wife came over. And we just sat around talking and thinking about, well, it's Taco Tuesday, you know, just making fun of, you know, that nothing's going to happen. In the meanwhile, on another in another area here in Knox City, Nathan, Kathy's son with the three boys, they were in their, their house and he listens to Storm Chasers, special, a special thing. And he, they were talking to us, and uh, he said he heard that there was going to be hail in like five minutes. So we all, all of us went to the storm shelter, and it did. There came the hail. Very exciting. I'm so grateful nothing, nothing at all went wrong. And um, at one point, I got to, to, they put some hail in my hand. It was like little gumballs. It, it, they were perfectly round little gumballs and um, it was pretty exciting but that's not bad you know I can handle that of course so after the uh, storms after the storm pretty much was over as far as hail it was still raining but we all said let's go back up into the house and we just said let's all go and we all piled into a car and um, uh, went over to Bud's and had dinner but when I got home the storm's still out there, but uh, and we got some hail again, but very little hail, like peas. And uh, I could hear it really loud on the roof, and the wind was really howling. But um, we made it, you know, and today is calm. This morning was beautiful, sunny, and, and just gorgeous. But right now, it's starting to cloud up. And um, it's like 59 degrees. And we're supposed to get, I don't know, it looks like we could get some more rain, but I, I'm not sure. But the winds are going to be up to 20 miles an hour in the next, within the next hour or so. And if, that, if those clouds are coming this way, I'll have to show you. Here it comes. <laughs> so, um, someone asked me about this. I made my necklace today pretty beads 
the necklace, it's a Jewish star with a cross in the center. And it was given to me by Mary, and it is from the olive, an olive tree. I thought that was really neat, and I love it. So I am wearing it. But uh, yeah, I liked, I liked what I made for it. it was, it's really pretty. I don't want to take it off. But there's nice, delicate beads. So that's what's going on, and today we're just, I mean, I just laid back, relaxing. Um, my shoulder is achy as can be. I got to tell you, I have a strain from the neck down into my arm still. Uh, nothing seems to really take it away. I have times when it's better, but if I use my arm a lot, which I do, it does hurt. So I haven't been mentioning it because, uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing I can do right now to uh, fix it. I have to wait till I find it, another physician specialist. But for now, I'm fine. I just take my pills, which I'm going to take now. And um, I'm living. There's people that live with pain every day. I know this. And um, I just have to live with it, unfortunately. Because it's a pinched nerve in my, um, you know, in, in a herniated disc in my neck. I saw um, one of a video of one of the doctors, and he said on, on YouTube, if you put your, your, uh, you know, you find your, what do you call this bone right here? Put your thumbs there, and your your hands in the back of your neck, and lift. It it elongates your spine, your cervical, and then let it go. It's not helping that much, but if, <laughs> mentally I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm going to unpinch it if I can just. But anyway, not going to talk about it. It's cool. I'm living with it. There's things that people live with way worse, way worse. Um, and I will try to answer some of the comments from yesterday today. I'll do that. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Hope you enjoy my breakfast this morning. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thought I'd go outside and show you the sky. It's definitely stormy looking. Yeah. So who knows? The wind's picked up. It's kind of chilly. Yeah, it's probably in the 50s. Everything's copacetic in here. Chickens were fine last night. They go up in that box there, so they're protected. Let me show you the one thing we did notice from the storm. Okay, well, these are the onions. They're fine. They're making it. But there's different kind of cloth fabric over here. And look, these are all... It must be cheaper, bad brand, but see all the holes from the hail. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, more here. Seems like the plants made it though. I think these are um, peas something else I forget those are for the tomatoes that are growing what kinds of tomatoes these are large leaf Italian basil they're getting pretty I forget what these are these are flowers I think irises This is asparagus. We've been eating it too. Well, I haven't had it. Well, I have had a little bit. But uh, they grow into these little... See all the ones that are cut off? They, they're they eaten. <laughs> yeah, she comes out and picks them. Pretty cool. They're beautiful too. Really tender. 
So there's the sky. This happens to be the community center and this is like all RV hookups. Right behind my, my house. Burr. I need a sweater. There's the park. Gotta admit, it's a really nice little neighborhood. Friends. And I know people that live there. I know people that live there. <laughs> Small town, bright light, Saturday night. Yep. Who knew that I would be in a little town like this? But I like it. Windy. Well, look who's here, the girls. The girls are here. Hi, girls. Hi, Red. Hey, Red. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Burr. Yeah, they go in there in the box and they hang out together where they roost. Hi, girls. Hi, Red. They see and share. What a trio. Hi, baby. They're all different. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ah! He <laughs> got my thumb. <laughs> scared me. Sorry about that. Jerk in the camera. I was gonna, I thought they would peck the camera, but it pecked my thumb. I'm trying to dry out my chair. Pretty much everything was tucked away yesterday. Well, that's it for me. I hope you're all having a decent day and thank you for all the prayers and wishes. Everything's fine. I'm with the right people too, which is real important. Love you all. Peace out.